Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So lately I've been watching the Carmichael show and I've become like a big fan of the show. But there is one issue that I have with the show and I want to talk about that in this video right now. But before I do so, you know, I just want to highlight the positive aspects of the show. You know, one thing that I like about it is that you have a black family, you have people that talk about important issues of the day, including like Islamophobia, racial profiling, they talk about gun control, they talk about a lot of different issues on that show. It's very entertaining, they even talk about like social media and its influence and its impact on people's lives and all that kind of stuff. So it's a great show and it kind of reminds me of all in the family you know back in the day with Archie Bunker and his liberal son-in-law and all that kind of stuff and the various debates that they would have that's what that show reminds me of so it's a very good show it creates a got a lot of great dialogue about a lot of important issues of the day and it's very entertaining you know the entire cast is hilarious you know you have um, you know the guy from in living color um, you have Gerard Carmichael, and then you also have that guy from Get Out, the guy that played the security guard in Get Out. And forgive me, I'm forgetting people's names, but I don't want to mess up their names, so I'm not going to guess. But you get the point. So it has a great cast. It's a great show. The one problem that I do have with the program is this issue of colorism. It seems like this show, like so many other shows, promotes colorism. Because here you have a biracial woman, you know, a character by the name of Maxine, who is depicted as feminine, who is depicted as beautiful, who is, you know, characterized as intelligent. You know, she always has some intelligent stuff to say. She's always like courteous. Uh, she has a lot of class and all that kind of stuff. She appears to be an educated character. But you contrast it with the black character, and that black character's name is Nakisha. And um, this is a dark skinned black woman. Um, and one other difference is she's in a stable relationship with her boyfriend. Um, you know, so that's one thing. You know, you had a light skinned biracial woman who's in a stable relationship, whereas you have this dark skinned character. Nakisha, who is divorced, you know, she's divorced from um, the main character's brother. This woman is loud, she's obnoxious, she's ghetto, she has a ghetto name, she, you know, acts like she has no class at all, she's real um, thuggish, and just, you know, real masculine, like, you know, kind of butch in her character and all that kind of stuff. You know, um, she wears weaves and extensions and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I think that what they're doing with this character is promoting these negative images of dark skinned women, you know, presenting the dark skinned woman as not being beautiful, not being feminine, not being intelligent, you know, being uncouth and uneducated and uncivilized. And I just think that that perpetuates negative stereotypes about dark-skinned women and black women in general because it's like too often what we have in the media is they promote the biracials over um, black women you know over women who are fully black they promote lighter skinned women over darker skinned women they portray the light-skinned woman as like the standard of beauty when it comes to black beauty and I just think that this perpetuates that. I mean, we see it in the music videos. We see it in a lot of um, different things like movies, television shows. And this is just yet another example of that. And it's deeply uh, disappointing. And I wonder if the Carmichael show will ever address the issue of colorism, if that will come up in their, their topics because they address a lot of current day events. And I hope that they bring that issue to the forefront and address it on one of their programs. Um, you know, I think that they have the kind of courage to address that issue. But again, it just presents this negative image of dark skinned women. I mean, you could see it on like Martin back in the day, you know, you had Gina who was depicted in a better light than the other character, um, Pam, you know. So, 
you know, we just see the problem repeating itself. And this is part of the reason why a lot of young black men have been programmed to view the lighter skinned black woman as a better option or the biracial woman as a better option because of these kinds of images. Often they'll pair a dark skinned black man with a light skinned um, black woman or white woman for that matter. And I think that that creates this, this situation where we have a warped definition of beauty. Uh, and this is something that, you know, somebody like Rashida Strober talks about often and other YouTubers. Um, but I think it's something that really needs to be um, discussed more. So those are my thoughts. Tell me what you think. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.